Hi, this is part two of our Crayola lettering series. Um, we have three parts to this series and you can access them all below in our description of this video section. So here we are making the letters of the alphabet, the lowercase letters, using the Crayola marker. Now I find that Crayola markers are great because one, they are easier to use than a lot of brush pens. You just get more control with them because they are not quite as flexible as regular brush pens. Um, secondly, Crayola markers are great because they are really easy to find. You can find them in most grocery stores or uh, drug stores or discount stores. And they are a lot more inexpensive than traditional brush pens. So if you want to try your hand at lettering, I would suggest borrowing some of these from your kid's closet or going out and picking up some of your own, um, just an easy pack of them or a small pack of them and try those out. Now here I'm also using the Crayola Super Tip, which is another um, Crayola marker that you can use for lettering too. And you can see that even with these markers, I'm able to get that thick downstroke and the thin upstroke that makes um, your calligraphy or hand lettering stand out and look a little more unique than just regular handwriting. So if you want to practice your letters, which I would definitely recommend if you are new to lettering, um, you can download this free blank worksheet at our website um, and I will post the link in the description of this video below so you can go directly to that link and you can get a copy of this free blank worksheet so you can letter have lines to letter on. I just find it easier when I'm making um, my letters or my strokes, my practice strokes to have letters, or I'm sorry, lines to letter on. It just gives me kind of guidelines of where I need to place the letter and how big to make each of them. So you can see here um, I am using the regular Crayola marker again for this line and it is a little thicker than the super tip So if you're looking for that really thick downstroke and a really big difference between your upstrokes and downstrokes Then you might want to choose just the regular regular Crayola markers instead of the super tips But the super tips are great because they're thin and they're easier to hold um, So I would suggest maybe getting a pack of each of those which you should be able to do for under ten dollars for both of them um, or for each pack. You should definitely be able to find them for under $10. Also with this worksheet, I wanted to let you know that the easiest thing I think for practicing is to print out one copy of your worksheets, whether it be a blank one or one with letters or words on it, and then you can put that underneath tracing paper and trace right over it for saving your ink um, for your printer, and also the tracing paper is a really smooth surface for you to practice on. All right, come back for the next part in our series. Thanks.